Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. And welcome back to another episode of the Diecast International Builders, or DIBS, uh, Invitational. This is the June 2024 Batty Invitational. And I am going to take this Hot Wheels Wild Thing and we are going to build a Batmobile, a fantasy Batmobile. From the very first time I picked it up, that's all I could see was this would make a great little Batmobile. So, let's go ahead and get it blown apart, see what we got to play with, get this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned. Well, we have our little Hot Wheels Wild thing all blown apart. <clears throat> got some serious styling going on there, very aerodynamic, big, long opening hood. Kind of reminds me of my 72 Tornado. You could stand between the radiator and the grill on that car. <laughs> anyway, beautiful styling. I see some definite possibilities for a little Bat Batmobile customization. It has one post in the back, which I've already drilled and tapped for the uh, 256 screw. A little crud in there too. A little tiny windshield, which I think I'm going to have to clean up a little bit. And speaking of engines, oh my God, look at that. That is a serious, serious engine in there. And some serious exhaust in the back. But uh, the front of the interior and in the engine compartment is actually held with another 256 screw. And used to cap capture the base in the front and the rear. Nothing to speak of, just a tunnel for the exhaust apparently to run through. And how about these for wheels? Are those special or what? We will be reusing these because you can't see them anyway. But uh, we're going to clean them up nonetheless. Well, that is all of the pieces and parts uh, for this build. So let's go ahead and get that casting stripped and we're gonna get the chrome, old chrome off that interior and engine and uh, we'll get this build moving along. Everybody stick around.
And before we get to the reveal, here's a quick look back at where we started. This is a Hot Wheels Wild Thing. Let's go ahead then and we will get it to the reveal and just see what we can do or what we were able to do to make this thing into a Batmobile. Everybody please stick around. Holy Batmobile, here is our completed wild thing converted to a Batmobile that gives a little homage to the 1967 Batman movie, the one that was released to uh, the theaters of the Bat Cycle. I always loved that motorcycle and I was always very disappointed anytime the Bat Cycle made an appearance on the TV series and it was an old Harley with a sidecar. Nothing wrong with an old Harley with a sidecar, but it wasn't the 67 movie bat bat bike anyway if you've never seen that movie i can't believe no one ever had or there are people that still have not the uh, decals that i made for this are designed to emulate the look from that mo the bat bike which uh, looks something like this So I did my best to bring that out. The bat is similar, the white on the black. I even gave a little hint of the uh, white on the scallops, the bat wing on the back. And uh, re-chromed the engine and the nose as well as the exhaust ports in the back. A little black detailing inside those. But Once we had it tore down and cleaned up, it was painted with the color shot uh, little black dress which is a beautiful gloss black uh, did the base and a matching and the interior matching and then re-chromed everything using the Molotov pen so uh, the decals I made using Adobe Illustrator software and uh, the rest of it it just came out exactly the way I hoped it would and I'm incredibly happy with it and uh, this is, of course, the Batty build for the month of June with the Diecast International build, Builders. It was my choice. So ever since I got a hold of this uh, wild thing, Hot Wheels wild thing, I, the only thing I could think of is how much it made me think of a, a, a bat, Batmobile or a bat boat. <laughs> it couldn't be much different either way. Anyway... I, uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and be sure you subscribe and ring the bell and share with your friends. And don't forget to go out and check out all of the other builds. I'm sure my teammates, Matchbox Mark, Caleb over at Opa's uh, Diecast Customs, and Cole at Kuda's Diecast Customs have also got some builds for you, as well as anybody else that joined in. Be sure you check out their videos, give them a like and a share and a sub if you haven't already, and be sure you uh, keep your eye out for our July builds and the builds that are coming up. So anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next.